If you live in the Houston area, you already know the flooding threat that we face all too often. But there is another component to that problem, and it appears to be getting worse. Sea level rise. It's happening, and with it, the potential for new problems. Tonight, investigator Joel Eisenbaum has the predictive flood maps that you haven't seen. most likely endured a few of them. Rita, Ike, Harvey, those names mean something different to us. And so far we've bounced back and we've been doing it since 1900. You simply cannot deny the creative power of people in the aftermath of storms. But mother nature keeps coming at us. The current curse word, Nicholas. It's a lot worse than what I expected it would be. The big ones, the hurricanes. They're tangible, painful reminders of nature's power. But something else appears to be threatening us. Climate change is real, it's happening right now. It's because of us and it's mattering for coastal communities that are seeing increases in water levels around their coastlines. Dr. Daniel Guilford is a climate scientist sounding the alarm. His group, Climate Central, is dedicated, they say, to helping families, businesses, and governments understand the consequences of global warming. For our region, they tell us that means by the year 2050, our coastline will be underwater. Climate Central created this map to help better explain the problem. Large swaths of Galveston, Bolivar, Tiki Island, Kima, underwater. But it won't happen overnight. So-called nuisance flooding will gradually get worse and worse. So a few inches, six inches, eight inches of water that we're seeing with sea level rise could really make a big difference for coastal communities such as Galveston. Here's the thing, if you believe these maps, you don't have to be on the coast to be in trouble. How many times have you flooded? Oh my goodness, uh, 19, 20 times here. The Sullivans, John and Mary, have uncommon durability. They live along Clear Creek in League City. Technically, it's a fresh body of water, but with tides, it floods like heck. Their house was raised 11 and a half feet, a whole extra story, and still flooded during Harvey. We actually had two feet on the second level, because this house now is three levels. We, we actually had to be rescued. Uh, we actually had to go over the side, so to speak. As for Nicholas, the mucky water stayed under the house, and it needed a good cleanup. The map puts the Sullivan's Creekside Oasis underwater by 2050. So what to do about that, John? I'm not an engineer, but they were able to uh, do it in Louisiana. I'm sure they can do it here. Galveston did, in fact, already do it a century ago when it built the seawall. It is still today one of the most monumental feats of civil engineering that has ever been accomplished in the history of our country. In the long term, an upgrade is in the works for the coastline with the Ike Dyke Coastal Spine, a protective barrier which this map does not take into account. In the short term, when it comes to that nuisance flooding, Kimber says Islanders somewhat take it in stride. We have to do the best with what we've got, with what's right in front of us, and take that as far as we can. At click2houston.com slash investigates, we've got a more detailed look at these predictive flood maps. You can check out your own neighborhood and see what the possible financial impact could be. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News.